It feels so solid. It looks like the future. It looks like what every phone should be like. And this man, the creator of Android, comes back from nowhere and creates the best looking phone. But with a shitty camera, man. How the fuck are we supposed to live with this, man? Goddamn. Alright, so. <laughs> That was my uh, little, okay, look. I made a video real quick about how much I like my Pixel that I have right now. I'm just, um, I said I'm testing out. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not. But my video was 21 minutes long and editing the video is gonna be way too long. So I'm gonna try to make some quick points so this could be like a quick five minutes or less video. So I'm back on Android, leaving iOS. And I'm back to my roots, okay? I love Android. I always did. Never forgot about it. I just had to buy an iPhone at the time, and it was something that I really needed. Two and a half years with Apple, and uh, it was exactly what I thought. I mean, boring and whatever, but it made me feel uh, some type of way. Apple does their marketing, making it, making you feel like you need something that you really don't, making you want to upgrade and all that. iOS 11 crashed so many times on my phone, and I wanted to leave anyway, so perfect timing. Let me leave and the Google Pixel 2 XL is out. Boom. I got the Pixel 2 and uh, they the Pixel 2 camera is amazing. There's nothing that I don't like about the camera. What about the software? I love it still. Love Android to this day. Only problem I have with this phone is that it's a six inch phone and I prefer a five, uh, five inch phone to a 5.5, nothing more, uh, maybe a 5.7. Cool. Father of Android created the Essential Phone. Well, I'm not gonna pull it out. But I'm gonna pull it out. He he created the Essential Phone, and this phone, the Essential Phone, is the most amazing. You see that middle camera right there? You see the middle camera? This display is amazing. Well, not the display itself, but the way it looks from a distance is amazing. It looks like the future. But Andy Rubin, the father of Android, created a phone with a shitty camera. I was very upset, everybody told me, everybody made fun of me, do not buy it, do not buy it, I bought it just to figure it out myself. Shitty camera on the Essential, that's a fail, but they need to come up with uh, the exact same model, but a better camera like the Google Pixel. This camera is phenomenal, phenomenal, uh, it's just so much I can say about it, but I'm not. It's, it, I, it's just amazing, believe it. Google, I do know your strategy, you're trying to get every good Google device into uh, uh, everybody's home. Google has very, very great intelligent UI. They have phenomenal uh, cameras and processors and the uh, and Google Voice Assistant. I understand that you guys need these devices in people's homes for affordable price. That's why the Black Friday deals on Google products were amazing. That's why you're exclusive to Verizon to get it in a store since Google does not own any retail stores. If they do, which I think they did three years ago, is very minimum. It's not Apple stores everywhere. Google, you need to set up your game. You need to talk to Verizon. There's no reason Verizon should be doing an ad for iPhones and for, and for the Pixel. No reason. You pick one and don't pick Apple, you know, talk to Verizon, you're exclusive with them. There's a reason you guys signed a contract. Do not talk about any other phones. We need this product out. This shit is too amazing for it to be updated and nobody has this, you know, like this is a, a, a fucking amazing phone. There's no reason someone shouldn't have it. With that said, I'm still used to iOS and I'm getting the hang of Android. Every single day I look at this phone, I'm like, it's too big. Is uh, I can't going back to Android. It's like it's not like a, a, a shock. It's like a wow. I really needed to work on my stuff again. I can still go back because I'm accustomed to it. But the thing is, I need a phone with a bigger screen, and I'm not going to go to iPhone Plus. No, I need something with a bigger screen. This is bigger than I, just about the same thing. But Apple don't have any multitasking features. They don't have anything that was that that, that was um, amazing. iPhones is the same thing from the day they were uh, released. Social status, okay. I don't care about social status, all right? Back to this phone's camera. Um, it's really amazing. Like, there's a shot I took earlier, and I just, 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 just admire that. Look at that photo, man. You can't find any other photos like this, man. Like, the, bruh, the portrait mode works perfectly with only one lens, and Apple needs two. Like, you can't find this nowhere else. Like, on my way home, I had to take a picture of the ambulance, man. Just. This is the best camera on any phone. And you're supposed to top this? Oh, man. Oh, man. With one. 
with one lens. Oh, ho, ho. damn. Google, you did it. You did it. Now it's time to get our products, our marketing up. It's time to get these things into people's hands to control of Android. All right. And what I mean by taking control of Android, I understand it's a free platform. You do what the hell you want on it, but you need to instill in some laws and some rules. Okay. The reason iOS is so successful because they make their shit and they uh, and they uh, they make both software and hardware. So they make it. You know, Google. You bought Android and you're shipping it to everybody for free. No, there has to be some standards. Like this is the app for this, this is the app for this, this is the app for this. At least, at least five apps so people know that's what you use and only. All right, just have some stability. Like messaging apps should all be the same. Uh, the, I podcast apps should all be the same. The other three, you guys come up with yourselves, but. It should all be the same for every, every Android, just to have some type of foundation and some like notoriety, like, oh, I know when I pick up this phone, I know this is that and that's that. All right. Google, please step it up. Um, This is an amazing phone. I love it. I just don't love the size, but I, I am starting to love the size every day. Uh, it's like my fourth day with the phone. Bruh, I love it. Back, back on Android, baby, you know. But yeah, that's my little talk about the Pixel 2 XL. Um, amazing phone, love it, love you Android, uh, app developers like Snapchat, I mean how dare you, okay, um, I'm taking these photos on Snapchat and these pictures upload like it's a piece of shit, what the, what, come on now, these videos I'm in pictures I'm, I'm taking on Snapchat and uploading it to it, doesn't work out, but when I take it on my camera and I upload it to Snapchat, I see the high quality. But when I take it from Snapchat camera, it doesn't show high quality. What is going on? What are you doing? Fix that. That is not fair at all. All right? You're making things seem like a social status. You're making Android look bad. You're making everything looks, t looks terrible. It is not fair at all. Fix your stuff, man. Fix it.